Hello everyone and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be animating lookup tables. By now you should know what lookup tables are and how to create your own. So logically the next step will be how to animate them and this is quite simple. However if you don't know what lookup tables are and how to customize them just click the link below. Now this is our default scene that is inside the GI folder, so you should have the scene as well. All I'm doing here is the last scene, and I'm, all I'm doing is actually just uh, moving the timeline. So we're going to start, instead of starting from the beginning over here of this animation, we'll start when we cut to the kitchen. That's all we're doing. And by using just lookup tables, we're going to create a time lapse effect. So as the camera is moving forward, we'll start with nighttime, then it will move into morning, then noon, then afternoon, then sunset, and by the time we end this animation, it will be back into nighttime. And to do this is quite simple and fun. So let's get started. So let's go ahead and press the stop button. So we go back to our frame here, the first frame that we want to start on. And let's go to visuals, then click on the effects tab. And this is where we have our effects stack. And this is where you load the lookup tables. So it is very important that you know what you want to do with those effects or filters. So right now I know that I want to start doing the nighttime. So let's go ahead and load that filter. So over here we have night effect. All of a sudden we have that daytime turn into the nighttime. However, I do want to add a little bit of blue to that scene to make it feel more nightish. So um, we can do several things. One, we can use the next effect, which actually morning effect adds a tint of blue, but it makes it way too dark, which is not in contrasting. So it's something we don't want. We could, of course, just tweak it a little bit. So we just add a little bit of blue there, but it's still making it a little too dark. And that's not something that we may want to do. If this is enough for you, then you, of course you can do that. However, I decided for this particular one, I'm going to keep the effect of the morning off completely and I'm going to load another lookup table which makes all my colors look cool on the cool side. See? So you have that blue tint right there without making it dark. So what we could do here is instead of using the morning one which gives us way too much contrast and makes it way too dark, we can add just a little bit of that in there into the scene because we do want to make it a little bit darker. However, because of this filter, it's also turning it bluish. So with that, we end up with our nighttime scene. Let's see, we bring a little bit of that morning, make it a little bit darker, like so. Now, remember what I said, the, the order is important. Look what happens when I switch this one, I move it up the stack one. See, it changed the, the values right there and, and the hue. So it's important where you place these filters because otherwise you might not get the right effect that you're looking for. So, however, look at this. This, actually, I like this better having the cool colors in front of the morning effect and the stacks go from, from uh, bottom to top. So let's leave it like that. That looks good to me. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the time to the the timeline here and we're going to go ahead and scroll I'm going I'm using my mouse wheel to shrink the timeline like that see quite simple and um, let's see let's move about 200 frames here and now we're going to end up in the morning effect however before we start that let's go ahead and load the rest of the filters that we're going to need for this for this uh, particular um, animation so I know that after morning I want to go to uh, noon and noon is about the time that this scene is lit in so all, all we don't have to bring the noon however the afternoon I want it to be a little bit warmer so I'm going to bring in warm colors and this will warm up the colors uh, for the default lighting that we're going to transition into so this is going to be for our afternoon now, however, for the morning, this quote is not working at all. So we're going to set this to a keyframe to zero. So this is not going to be touched right now. 
By the way, if you're not seeing here your filters, all you have to do is make sure that you go to projects, this little uh, pull down table and click on effects. And then what we're going to do here is since we're going to not going to touch the sound, we're not going to touch the ambient light, we're not going to touch the HDR parameters at all. So we're going to turn those off. So as you can see here, uh, and we're not going to touch this fill, fill light over here. So let's turn that one off. We don't need that. So here are our filters right here. So, um, Next, we are going to uh, go from the afternoon into the sunset. So let's load our filter. We have a nice sunset effect filter. And then after that, we're going to go into nighttime, which we already have. So all we have to do is play with the keyframes now, and we pretty much have everything that we want. So the sunset effect needs to be turned off at the beginning of the animation. So all we have is the cool night feel to it. And um, and actually, let's go ahead and touch up a little bit, the adjust the brightness and contrast, and take the brightness a little bit down here. Just a couple of notches, like two, two. Or one. All right, that looks good. All right, so we're playing it by ear here. All right, great. So let's go ahead and go into morning. So let's go about 200 frames forward. So about there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let's start animating this so that it goes from the nighttime to the morning. So what we need to do is a, oh, by the way, if you want to go back to the uh, particular keyframe, just, just kick, uh, click on the, on the keyframe and it will, you will land exactly on the row that you're looking for. You know, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot harder to try to figure out how to land into that particular keyframe. On the first one, of course not, because all you gotta do is just press the stop and it will go to the beginning of the animation. But if you are in somewhere in between here and you need to land exactly where all the keyframes are set, just click on a keyframe and that will take you right, right to where you need to be. So I know that uh, my, it looks like my uh, cool colors, let's see, uh, does that have, Oh, my nighttime effect, okay, look at that, does not have a key at the beginning of the animation, and I want to add one. So I'm going to move the slider forward and then backwards. Notice all of a sudden, we have the key right there. And that's exactly what we want. We want to set a key there at the start of the animation. Now, we're going to move about 200 frames forward, and we are going to take our night effect off. So it turns into the morning, and we're going to go ahead and take the cool colors and take some of that coolness away like so let's keep it a little bit that looks nice all right so we went from nighttime to morning now let's go ahead and go another about 2000 uh, 200 frames forward and we go ahead and go from here into noon and now we know that noon is like the default lighting that we started with um well, actually, since the light is coming through the window, maybe a little bit more afternoon, but let's pretend that was noon. So let's say that the, the original lighting was noon. And uh, let's go ahead and deactivate all the filters at that particular time so that we end up with the default lighting. And all we have to do is just go to the each effect and turn it down to zero. So we take the cool, uh, fill, cool colors down all the way to zero. We take the morning effect down to zero. Now, uh, we are gonna, we're not going to touch the warmth, but however, we do want to set a key at this particular time. So we move the slider forward and then move it back to zero. And for the sunset, we're going to do the same thing so we can set a keyframe there as well. So now all our filters uh, have keyframes except the nighttime effect. So we definitely want to add a keyframe there as well. So let's go ahead and there we go. All right. So next, we are going to move forward uh, about 200 frames again, like so, and we're going to take it to an afternoon. So to do this, we are going to make the colors just a little bit warmer, make it feel a little bit warmer. So that is more like afternoon time. That looks good to me. And next, let's go and move another 200 frames forward, like so, and let's turn this into a sunset. So. Uh, however, we need to set a keyframe here 
at this point, see this is what I was talking about, if you try to do it through the slider, it's going to be kind of hard to line exactly where the keyframe, if you want to line everything up. So just keep, click on the keyframe over there, and it will tell you exactly where you want to be. And we're going to set a keyframe here for the sunset and set it to zero. Otherwise, if we don't, what's going to happen is it's going to start at zero here, and it's going to start moving forward towards sunset time from this frame, which we don't want. This is uh, our noon time. This is the afternoon time. So here's when we start the sunset effect to start to we want the sunset effect to start to kick in. So let's go ahead and I already put a keyframe there. Move 200 frames forward. And now we go into the sunset time. So we move the slider to the sunset. And maybe we want to add a little bit extra warmth in there. Like so. Very good. And that's nice over there. Okay, so next, we're going to set a keyframe also for our nighttime effect, so that it stays at zero from this point. And the same thing for the cool colors and the morning effect as well. So now we have keyframes for all these guys. So next, uh, we're going to go into the nighttime. So let's go to the end of the animation and turn this into nighttime. So we are going to start backwards this time. We're going to turn the slider all the way to zero. We're going to take the warmth all the way down. We're going to take the morning effect and bring it up a little bit, not too much, to cool things off and give it a little more contrasty. We're going to bring the coolness up, so nice and cool. And now we take the nighttime effect and bring it all the way up. And now we have a scene that kind of looks like it's moonlit. And that's all there is to it, basically. You just move the parameters, adjust them to your liking until you get night, morning, noon, afternoon getting nice and warm. Then we get into the sunset time, gets warmer, and then we end up with the night time. This concludes our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will catch you on the next one. Until then, have a good night.